Hey guys, hope everybody's having a great day today. Don't forget that our Easter egg hunt is this Sunday. Hopefully it will be sunny, it will not rain on us, uh, starting at two o'clock. This Sunday, uh, I know the sign over here looks really not good. We did the best we could. We're looking at getting a more permanent uh, portable sign that we can use for different kind of things that we do. But anyway, today I wanna to read a verse of scripture to you from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 28, verses 19 and 20, uh, and it says this, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all the things that I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Now, a lot of times we as Christians, we think that we're doing good, we're, we're, we're in God's plan, we're in His will, if we just are avoiding sin as best we can. And trust me, that's a great thing. The more we can avoid sin and stay away from those things that are tempting, that's an awesome thing, and it's very difficult to do. That's why we need to, like as we always say, stay in the Word, stay in prayer, and be under the hearing of God's Word. But it's not just that. It's also doing what Christ commands us to do. You know, a lot of people will come up to me and they'll say, Jimmy, I'm just not... Um, an A-type personality, or, you know, I'm just kind of shy, and so therefore, I'm just going to leave that for the pastor and for you and for other folks um, in leadership at the church to do. But Jesus didn't say this is only for the pastor or only for people, you know, staff persons or deacons or, or whoever. It's for all of us. Go ye therefore make disciples. Uh, and it says, goes on, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. Now, he's talking to his disciples, but he's giving them the command to go right before he leaves, before they have even received the Holy Spirit and ex what he expects them to do. It's what he also expects us to do as well. So if you haven't, especially this time of year, we're getting ready to celebrate Easter. Uh, next week is Easter week. And so, is it, yes, next week is. And so we want, we'll be talking more about those things and why it's so important for us to take the good news of what Christ has done for us uh, to, to everyone that we know, uh, especially those folks that, you know, are closest to us. I mean, you hate to know that you spent so much time with a good friend uh, or, you know, the people that you care the most about and never knew, you know, you never talked about, you know, their faith in Christ. Anyway, guys, I hope this helps. I hope you have a great day. I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.